All right, shit, well, I guess that was that whole story. Here's some crazy fanfic for you. Looney Tunes and Reader. You can sort of picture yourself in some kind of relationship with a Looney Tune. Now, this seems ungodly amounts of unappealing to me. Like, gross. Wiley Coyote, Marvin the Martian, Bugs Bunny, Wiley the Coyote again. Okay, let's read this one about Elmer Fudd, because as far as I can tell, he's the only human Looney Tune that exists. I don't know why anyone would want to imagine themselves dating Elmer Fudd, dude. I'm actually kind of worried that these are, this one's real. There's too many of these stories for this to be a joke, right? Look at how many of them they made. Oh, that's not good. Oh, you heard your boyfriend Elmer sigh as he walked in through the door and hang his hat on the stand. So we're already dating Elmer that is a tragedy. Something wrong, babe? You ask in sort of a jokingly concerned tone. You knew what the issue was. I can't catch that pesky wabbit. You rolled your eyes. The dude wasted his life trying to get bugs. Okay, I guess we're not a very supportive significant other, are we? Wasting your life trying to catch that fucking rabbit. How about you get up and get a job, Elmer? Wanna talk about it? You ask as you sit yourself on the seat. No. He lies as he throws himself on the seat. Okay then, but I'll be here if you need me, you say as you get up. He looked pretty stressed, so you just Decide a massage was a good idea. Oh no. You get behind him and start massaging his half head. His half head? Does he have a half head? No, it's a whole head. What does that mean? You take off Elmer Fudd's hat and there's no more to his head. It's just blank space up here. Yeah, you massage his little half head. You know how we all assume Elmer Fudd's head cuts off right there? Okay, anyway, this is getting too graphic and I don't want to read about this anymore. There's one comment by an account called Elmer Fuddinator and he says, this is stupendous. Yeah, well, you would think so, wouldn't you? I feel like this has to be a joke now. Now that I've seen that there's an account called Elmer Fuddinator that's commenting on this. Who is Elmer Fuddinator? Oh shit, wait, what? Okay, I went to Elmer Fuddinator's profile and he's in an argument with some guy named the Marvinator. Obviously more of a fan of Marvin the Martian. Please leave me alone. I have no other way to get through to you, but here again, please leave me alone. What is Elmer Fuddinator doing to Marvin the Martian? Study you blockhead, you old fart. Stop contacting me and why don't you leave me alone? Go to church, you Satan worshiper. You seven-year-old turd stewing in the toilet. Go lick Yosemite Sam's mustache. Elmer Fudd could beat up Marvin with his five-foot-long shotgun. F you ho. Okay, this has to be a joke. There's no way there's some two different real people named Elmer Fuddinator and the Marvinator. These are obviously both the same person trying to do a joke, but like for who? For who would this be a joke for? This person has one follower and it's the person that wrote the Looney Tunes stories and the Marvinator has 12 followers. Okay. So who are they do? They're long ass conversation, long, mean, mean conversation. Is this a joke or not? Why are you so aggressive and rude? Go to therapy, you psychopath. And FYI, Marvin would vaporize Elmer Fudd and destroy the earth in a heartbeat. He's just too sentimental, okay? And last but not least, stop contacting me, loser. Shut the fuck up, you pee stain. Okay, that's just too weird. Like I said, I cannot tell when people are joking on this website. I need to get out of this whole Looney Tunes ecosystem. You know what? I feel like we're just gonna end it there. That was a little bit too much. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Keep it real, stay safe, and most importantly, keep it real. I'll see you guys next time.